koan tonight is taking the form of Kuan Yin, that you are Kuan Yin, Kan Zion, taking the form of Kuan Yin. Find shelter for everyone afraid in these political times. Find shelter for everyone afraid after the election. Find shelter for everyone afraid. The way that one of the tasks in meditation is, is um, how do we deal with difficulty? How do we deal with dark times? How do we deal um, with fear and anger and uh, mistreatment and things like that, prejudice? And in a way, none of those things are new in the world. <laughs> strangely enough. <laughs> and, and so one of the interesting things, it's been very interesting after the election, the degree of shock and, and uh, disbelief and pain and anger and sorrow that everyone, many, so many people have been feeling. Uh, one of the questions I ask my, I've been asking myself is, well, what were we thinking, what kind of country were we thinking we were in that we don't, <laughs> that we're surprised by this, you know, <laughs> sort of thing. And uh, so that's a sort of deep question for me. It makes me think about history and, you know, the long arc of, of, uh, of history, yeah. And I'll say more about that later, perhaps. And then uh, one of the things in, one of the primary things in Zen is that if we can find peace in our own hearts in any circumstances, you know, like try it while you're dying, you know, and if you're wondering when that will be, that's now. <laughs> that's, that's what we're doing. Right? So, um, see if you can enjoy your dying. Every time you're enjoying yourself, that's what you're doing. Yeah. So, so that kind of thing. So, um, that's not too hard. We can get that, right? We can sort of get, oh yeah, I must, we're all dying. So, I kind of knew that was part of the deal. I, I think I kind of sort of knew. Probably not me, but most of my friends. And <laughs> <laughs> so, so, all that. <laughs> But even maybe me, I don't know. And, um, and so we can do that. And so then we realize that there's a way to have a kind of peace in our hearts and a kindness in our hearts for life and for this moment. And it always starts with this moment. It always starts with the people we're with. You know, not some other people, and it's not some other person than you. The great, um, the great British psychoanalyst Adam Phillips has, has this really funny thing in one of his recent books where he says, um, you know, the Christian thing about you should treat other people the way you'd want to be treated doesn't make any sense because most people hate themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and you can sort of feel that in the election, all you know, the women voting for Trump and things like that. You know? And uh, like, clearly this is not people who love themselves, <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and so, thinking about all that, I've been thinking about all those kind of things. I try to avoid thinking about like what is America anyway, you know, mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's good to think about them now and think about well, what is our role and what is our task. So one of the things I think is to hold the space of Guan Yin and actually hold this space quite literally in the zendo, you know. Because anybody can come here. Mm -hmm. And we actually, you know, if you're a minority, you're welcome. <clears throat> you can be, and in fact, all the groups threatened, if you're transgender, if you're gay, if you're lesbian, if you're any kind of minority, pick your minority. <laughs> Women. That's, it's a not, that's a minority. There aren't many of them around, you know. 